Hello, welcome again. Today we will we'll talk about love, but before I can show you weather today, look what is outside the window. I think you see a little. Uh, this is uh, snow on the roofs. Today is Easter Sunday. It's 12th of April 2020 but it was snowing overnight and it's still snow. I can open window for the moment. You can see this pattern. <laughs> it's, this is nice snowing pattern on the roofs and still snowing. And I can close because it's still a little bit cold wind and uh, before I start talking about love I can show you another thing yet what is vegetable of the week alfalfa beautiful growing new alfalfa what is good to show on spring on Easter day and uh, also like growing new from new seeds love Alfalfa is very tasty, it's nice, mm. it's good for sandwiches, for salad, and just eat like this as a snack. And do you know that alfalfa have, uh, in one cup, have three grams of protein, it's also three grams of, of um, carbs, and vitamin A, calcium, vitamin C, and iron. And um, is uh, uh, the alfalfa, the, this is really legume, but this is also can be used as a herb, especially in this uh, new growing form. I am always. Uh, advertising true natural food because nobody doing this <laughs> and we have to and nobody pay me for this I just feel then we have to remind about natural food and now start talking about love in our Western culture from Europe which also growing uh, in North America, it, we have t uh, in our philosophy about love, we still follow ancient uh, Greek and Roman philosophy, where um, our love was divided to three pieces Eros, Philia, and Agape. Eros means sexual life, sexual love, love of desire, physical love. Philia is like emotional love, like um, kinds of attachment is love to between family, between friends, like brother to sister, cousins, and at agape, is higher spiritual love is love like love of God to humans is like Jesus die on the cross and be, and after um, it was resurrec resurrection and come back to us because he loved us and what is this love and mother love of mother to children should be unconditional like God to humans and what is really love what we can understand this uh, is I think then this kinds of thinking like uh, from ancient philosophy uh, we have to change this a little because I, uh, I hope that my Christian friends will be okay with this. If I say, then we should uh, more looking around 
to other philosophies and religion because it's time like this today then we have more contact with uh, other people and uh, we can choose something what can be more suitable for us today in 21st century. Uh, many people are, are impressed by Buddhist uh, philosophy and today I want to show approach to love uh, inspired by Buddhism which we can beautifully um, f also adapt in Christianity with uh, good benefits for everybody because this is, I, in my opinion, much better understanding of love which the same absolutely the same human emotions and human uh, part of life what and philosophy of love can be better then in buddhism we talking about four different aspect of love of love but love is one is not divided like this then sexual love is different and friend, uh, love between brother who the love is different and god's love is different love is really one then in this all uh, 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 sexual love love is form when of expression of love not form of love because love is only one and there are four form of expression of love which uh, we can take uh, to consideration first is love loving kindness if you want uh, learn more about this you can Google this uh, special loving kindness meditation. This is kinds of uh, thinking about others with kindness, wishing good to others, uh, desire to doing something good to others. Is not this then in this meaning love is not just emotion which coming and disappearing love is kinds of decision in our life and conscious action to make other people love better to care for others loving kindness making other people life better number two is compassion is listening and understanding others and uh, also desire to take action to help as much as we can in other people problems and needs to compassion to other people feelings and willingness to help connected with loving kindness another thing is sharing joy is bringing joy to other people in this completely simple way enjoying life together saying something positive doing together saying something positive and very important number four is inclusiveness is expanding our life la and love not only keeping between two people egoistic way to me and you only but expanding to others helping others inclusive others and opening our heart to bringing love what we feel to one person to expanding this love to all the world and helping helping together all the world and this is just other name for the same one love which come which still including joy compassion for all for others and loving kindness and this is so beautiful theory of love 
and help us understand uh, what to practice love to other person and also how to f understand if other person really love us to as a exam to see is this you do you see loving kindness compassion joy and inclusiveness growing in this relationship if yes this is true love what i wish you and myself and my family and don't forget to sharing with love with others good food like alfalfa and have a great peaceful joyful kind uh, with easter time and in include other people around in your heart and in your full of love and kind feelings thank you